It may be the most infamous unsolved serial killer case on the books today. A murder mystery Crime Watch Daily has been following closely near Gilgo Beach, Long Island, where at least 10 bodies, mostly strangled young women, found hidden in the brush. These girls did not deserve to die the way they did. But now, this bombshell development. John, did you kill those two women? Could this Long Island man recently convicted of two savage murders be linked to some of the victims found on Gogo Beach? At least one lawman is saying there's a chance. All he said was that this could be the handiwork of John Bitroff, the carpenter. John Bitroff has just been sentenced to two consecutive sentences of 25 years to life after being found guilty in the murders of 31-year-old Rita Tangretti and 20-year-old Colleen McNamee. Their strangled bodies found more than 20 years ago, not far from his home in Manorville, Long Island, where the 51-year-old carpenter lives with his wife and two kids. The clinching evidence, DNA found on the victims matching Bitroff. Our WPIX affiliate reporter in New York, Mary Murphy, has spent years covering the story. They had both been beaten pretty badly, and they were positioned in a certain way. So it was sort of obvious that the same killer had killed both of them. And now, a startling statement that may link Bitroff to the strangled girls on Gilgo Beach, which is about 40 miles from his house. Assistant Suffolk County DA Robert Bianca Villa made this statement to the Associated Press, quote, there are remains of the victims at Gilgo that may be attributed to the handiwork of Mr. Bitroff. And the investigation is continuing. He didn't get specific at all. He didn't elaborate. But of course, alarm bells went off among us reporters. That's because three years ago, when Bitroff was first charged in the Tangretti and McNamee killings, Suffolk County DA Tom Spoda said this. There is no evidentiary or investigative link between these two murders and any of the Gilgo victims. So what happened to make them change their minds? The DA's office hasn't said anything beyond their initial statement, and Suffolk County police aren't commenting. But it appears that there is a gruesome connection between Bitroff's hometown of Manorville and Gilgo Beach. In 2000, the torso of an unidentified woman was found there in Manorville, Long Island. In 2003, the torso of Jessica Taylor was found in Manorville, Long Island. And it wasn't until years later that there were body parts found in the Gilgo Beach area that were connected to those two early victims. Crime Watch Daily has been following the case closely, and we also followed this guy. Dr. Peter Hackett, tagged by attorney John Ray as the man investigators should be looking at. Ray represented the family of Shannon Gilbert, whose remains were found on Gilgo Beach in 2011. Just two days after her disappearance, Shannon Gilbert's mother says Dr. Hackett inserted himself into the middle of the mystery. I got a phone call. He said, my name is Dr. Peter Hackett. I'm calling to see if your daughter Shannon is there. I said, no. Why? Who are you? And he said that he, um, he ran a we were at a house for girls. Shannon was there. She was upset. He'd given her some uh, medication to calm her down. And Ray claims in a wrongful death suit that Hackett was the last one to see Shannon alive and drugged her the night she went missing. Did you run a home for wayward girls? Of course not. So you didn't have anything to do with Shannon Gilbert's death? Of course not. When we tried to ask Dr. Hackett about that, we got a reaction that stunned even our seasoned camera crew. You had nothing to do with Shannon Gilbert's death? That's correct. What about all the other girls? Sarah! What was that? I defibrillator. You son of a No, right don't. Now. No, it's all right. No. I'm a doctor. Attorney Ray still says Hackett is the man police should be questioning. Just take pictures of these clowns, would you? Even though he has never been named as a suspect in the case. The Suffolk County police apparently say he's not a suspect. They say that he's an exaggerator, but he's otherwise harmless. From the facts that I have, that's dramatically untrue. Despite what Ray believes, 
cops are hopeful the carpenter could be the final nail in the case. A mystery that for decades has haunted the families of the girls found murdered at Gilgo Beach. There's also one other possibility here. Bitroff may not be the only killer. There's a possibility that more than one killer used the desolate Ocean Parkway as a dumping ground. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.